Hi there, Business Ask Me Anything. Richard Adam asks, uh, why do you think people are avoid setting goals in their professional career? Why there is so much lag among people to plan their career um, advancements in a timely manner? I think a lot of this comes down to is that people think if they show up and they work hard that eventually they're just gonna get a promotion or they're gonna get what they want out of their career. Where if they wanna be more deliberate about it, they'll get what they want. And so the real obstacle for a lot of people is they don't know how to navigate through their career. They don't know how to climb a corporate ladder. They don't know how to start their own business or grow their business. They just are under this, uh, this guise that if I work hard, then good things will come. And it doesn't necessarily work that way in, in, the, in, in actual practice. And so it becomes important for people when you look at your career to identify where you wanna go. And then most, more, most importantly is, what are those different gaps that you're missing in, your, in regards to your career progression? And so it could be negotiation, it could be sales skills, it could be leadership skills, it could be um, you know, uh, customer service skills, it could be technically um, understanding the profit and loss statements, uh, revenue versus profits, um, expense, um, understanding how to hire, how to fire. There's so many different skill sets that people can learn over their years in their career, and they need to find out what's going to actually move that needle for their career to actually progress. And number two, after you've gained different skills and are working at different skills, expressing that to another uh, manager, business owner, individual in your network that you want more. By expressing to others what you want from a career perspective, it's gonna allow them to know that you are actually open to those different movements. Give you an example. Uh, my dad, um, we had lived in England, um, he, had, he was over the, the European sales division um, when, when, uh, when I was in high school. And um, you know, a couple, couple career moves later, he's with this new organization. He let them know, just so you know, I'm open to international assignments. And they were taken back by that because they didn't know. And my dad kind of had the, the response of, well, you know, it's, it's on my resume. But nobody's looking back at your resume. So you can't assume that people already know your job description or what you're open to if you don't say it. Because it was what when he worked in England, it was a completely different company. So they had no idea that 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 might even existed. Or if they did know that it existed, they didn't know that you were still open to going um, back again um, or out again. And so it becomes, it becomes extremely important for us to be able to be working on specific skills that's gonna get us to be better. And number two is expressing those um, those aspirations with others. Terms out.